you and the commissioner have been very forward thinking, um, much more so than, than some in, in other cities. Um, uh, do you see, as you look into your crystal ball and, and think about EMS of the future, do you see mobile integrated healthcare as something that could be a reality for fire services across the country? Not necessarily here in Chicago, but. The constant that we have in, right now is the fact that, like you just said, we're here 24 seven. So, I mean, even you have another program that is spring up at some hospital and they have a home health care program, you may work from eight to four or whatever it might be, we're still here. And so we're, we're talking about expanding the use of the resources available to us generally without losing sight of our core mission. That's important. We're not losing sight of our core mission, but we can add to that mission by increasing some of the services that provide better care and services for the folks in our communities. That's what we're talking about as a fire department. Again, senior health care, uh, senior fire prevention programs, I'm not sure how many cities do that. We do that. We have, we have personnel dedicated to that task who go into senior citizen high rises and train them how to be safe in homes, fall prevention, fire prevention, what, what garment not to wear to the stove, how to make sure your stove is off. You do that with partnership with the building development, uh, the building management, as well as family members who are there. You know, because Mrs. Jones is now 80 years old, she may not be able to see as well. How do you, no, leave a light on for the bathroom, lower the height of the bed, so we get into those things. Those are the kind of prevention things that this program will expand upon. They will be new, but we will expand upon them. Uh, and we'll continue doing those things anyway, because they're important to us as a fire service. What we partnered before with the hospitals, uh, as an, ex an example, was, let's say we know there's a huge serious heat wave coming. We have a lot of asthma attacks during that time. So we know about those kind of things. We can plan for uh, search or plan for prevention by knowing the individuals that we dealt with before out of a database to make sure they're taking the meds. If their meds are down, where to go to get things replenished. That's a partnership that we have now that we've expanded upon by having a more formal type of um, program in place. Mm -hmm.